Okay, in level five. Just the one. Okay, let's go. Hmm. I'm hoping you can see the pattern I'm looking at. If it takes, then we can get their bishop off the board with a horizontal. feeling confident I don't think there's any negative is there take get the horizontal we've been looking at we've been practicing these horizontal queen maneuvers <clears throat> it doesn't have to take though but we've won a pawn if he doesn't take then we just bring the bishop back but he's on our rook so we take he takes definitely do that but if we take and then he doesn't do anything and he just moves here then we have to move the rook and then he would still win the bishop interesting still move the rook if they did take then obviously our queen does have an, another line which is here attacking with a check on the king so I think that works I want to be able to do this sort of stuff over the board this is level 5 so this is why I'm generally just taking my time here I mean, we do have that pawn but he's on our rook if he takes then we take his rook so in a sense I suppose we're pawing up if we do it that way as well but it's not the same potatoes is it So if we go there, then his rook just moves, he's on the bishop. Bishop then has nowhere to go. And we don't have a queen check on the king. So we'd have to move and then we'd lose the bishop. So that wouldn't work out. I'm happy with this. Okay, so they've gone for that, so I'm going to put the check on the king. And 
just follow that process through quite nicely it's the benefits of playing a long play game looking at the art of chess okay so what do you do from here I mean this rook in its own right is not got any protection on but we can't get to it bishop would love to be here but the knight is there could push here looking to get a bit of activity here develop a piece queen could take but then the rook just comes here then we can take the pawn maybe but then my pieces aren't developing out I'm a bit anxious about this put I remember on over the board game where I was playing a it was like more probably 300 points higher than myself or something like that and this was like um, a, a league a league game and I'd got to this type of position and I says oh man I've got a pawn here, I can take this and I took it and then I took another pawn and I'm feeling really good and then the queen got trapped I don't think he's got enough pieces to trap my queen I'm actually taking the pawn because like he had his knight and his bishop and stuff like that and my queen just ended up getting trapped in the corner and it was a beautiful game as well I thought, oh I'm just about to beat this guy and yeah fluffed it another odd king, um, king move hmm don't really want to keep my queen here do I but I need to develop pieces We'll get this out maybe get up here get into some action two on ones uh, his knights basically covered that off it's covered off my activity but it has stopped his bishop from getting in front here so we could do this and get an x-ray through with our bishop looking to try and get the rook off the board it's going for an exchange Go for an exchange. We're plus two, so we should really class that as a, an advantage of sorts, shouldn't we? I'm actually taking it off the board. Have a way. The game's nearly finished. that we're going to win the rook so again part of training is being able to see these things isn't it so uh, oh maybe not oh cracking talking a bit too previous there wasn't I okay Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra is there anything else 
take, take, so let's take that. So the knight's currently pinned, so I'm going to push this pawn onto the knight. And it's still pinned. Okay, let's um, just bring the bishop through. King's looking for a bit of safety. Um, we're still plus two, so it is an advantage. So should we really be contemplating just taking the knight off the board now and work with the rooks that we've got? And for me, I'm thinking, yes, we should because we are in an advantage with the pawns rather than letting his knight dance around and gaining maybe some type of advantage from there so I'm taking the knight off the board and now hopefully maybe we can start working with the rooks try and utilize the advantage we've got somehow at this minute in time is not going to get down here I do like to go on the far rank it's probably wrong but I just don't like my rooks being in the center of the board unless of course it's going to mean something I'm just going to fly it here And then just support it. Basic chess. And now. Hmm. I'm going to float here. I'm just attempting to try and come here. I think now there's a trade off. could take or we could just sit the rook here I don't know I was planning to just sit the rook there that makes me feel better I think if I take oops, excuse me then he's owning the file type thing and then he's coming down and I think I'll just do this yep okay let's grab aggressive king so now this is the point where we can look to maybe just support or shall we come across and attack this pawn can he defend coming for a back ranker so we have to be careful I think at this point in time blocking the scud missile should work for us and this is where we should be looking to uh, attack the pawn makes sense doesn't it So it's at this point really we can look to get rid of the rook now we don't want their rook on the board we're plus three so we should be able to do something with that so say bye bye to the rook okay right so i'm just gonna push this pawn And then this one. And get the king up. And again. So the 
king's moved back so we can now either take the pawn I don't think it makes much difference let's just push maybe should have kept my pawns linked really but um, let's go here just give give them something to think about Okay, that was a pretty smooth game actually um, obviously it's lulling me into a false sense of security um, level 5 um, if I, I bet if I play a next one um, <laughs> I bet it doesn't bode too well for me so we'll go in on another level 5 and because it is strong um, it's just on this particular occasion I think maybe either we took advantage of the advantages or they just didn't seek out the advantages I'm gonna play another one just do a rematch level 5 so I'm expecting this one to be a little bit tougher let's go uh, do -do -do. let's just capture Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Probably should develop the bishop, although tempting to take here. Knight takes, and then we take this pawn as well. But my queen is not got any protection on at the minute. I'm gonna take, get rid of the confusion. Okay, so they actually simply take back. Simply take back. Push this pawn onto this knight. Knight is in my face. So tuck this knight. Oh, I knew I would fall for some dirty gertie. Ah, oh, savage. Oh. Knight can't even go there, it's just gonna get taken. Oh. That's my fault, but I did say it's gonna come out a bit stronger. I probably played that a little bit erroneously. Mm. If we bring the knight here, if he takes the bishop, we take his knight. He's not taking, so we can we can't take the knight just yet because put a check on. Still can't take the knight. 
shoot, dear me, it's a combination of stuff going on here. Castle. He saves the night. Oof. He saves the night, or does he? Yeah, he can move the night now. So if we go here. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece in this situation. Let's see what happens. And bishop takes, and then he gets our pawn, but then we get his queen. No, he's not going for that. So it's even Stevens at the moment. I said it was his as tricky one is level five, didn't I? Okay, let's just put some thought into this then. Rook coming here, protecting the pawn. Push, push. Bishop's got this. Could get a two on one with this, but then that for this or this comes out. And could move the queen, 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 queen. Attack but doubles my pawns, maybe not today. Attack, attacking the pawn, like I said it can just drop here. Attack the bishop, but then the pawn drops, but then if the pawn drops the rook takes. That might be a good enticement, might it? Let's see if that works, if the queen takes the pawn. Bishop moves. Um, so what else do we have? Queen coming for a horizontal on the one. Any pressure on the king area? Bringing the knight back again. So it's blocked his rook for the moment. What else can be done? Bringing the rook support in anyway. Queen can come here as, but. Psh. It's not doing the right lot, just gets threatened. Could attack his queen. And then if they decide to go here because it's under threat, then we go bomb. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, they're not falling for it. Damn, damn, damn. It can happen though. Right now my knight will be trapped because if he comes here I don't have anywhere to go. And I can't take this because the queen's protecting. So I can come and attack his pawn. And give space for the knight to move. Oh, vicious attacks. Two on one. With the rook on the pawn. Oh man, exchanges, exchanges. All right. My queen doesn't have any protection on. Is there a nicer square for it to go? Could drop back here. Maintaining the two on one. I'm actually going to take. I'm going to take. Now he's got the double pawn situation. But what can we do about it? Rook likes to go here, doesn't it? He does have two passes now. So attack one. Attack one, he drops. Um, knight. Elevate the rook, like I said. Let's look 
back into castle. Get this rook supporting. For now, let's do this. So let's attack him. We can't drop there just yet. Can attack the bishop. Can attack the pawn. This bishop comes back to defend. Bishop take the pawn Ooh, don't do that. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We'll just go there. What else is there? He's got to be castling, hasn't he? Get the knight two on one. Let's just take before they get really consolidated and um, I think there's something here but uh, let's go. Oh no the pawn's protecting. So uh, the pawn's protecting. I was thinking oh I've got like an x-ray through on both of them. It's just exchanging down, isn't it? We're plus two out of that. So, again, hopefully then maybe we can try. We can trade down. They're looking to trade down. We take, then these rookies own the file. Does have a white square bishop. If I go here, his bishop just comes there like that. Looks like I might have to take. Or I push the pot rook up. If he takes, then push the pawn. Hmm. I'm going to elevate. Oh, what happened there? X ray through to their rug. Gives us time to double up. Oh no, okay. Gonna take. Gonna take. Uh, attack the pawn. Shall we? Shall we just leave them there? For now, push. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe not then.
Usha. Damn. Okay. So we're taking on Stockfish level 5. That was a bit meatier though from them. That was um, cracking. Okay, well maybe we'll need to step it up a bit then and actually work with level 5 then. But yeah, when I first started playing on the level 5, it went there was advantages but it just felt more computerish but these last two games seem to be um normalish <laughs> normalish humanish okay that's that's fine well, maybe we'll flip backwards and forwards because the because this is like 1700 1800 um sort of rating that it's been given and the competition, the highest we're going to be ever playing is um, 1500, so it's under 1500. So maybe we dot from four, um, level 4 to level 5, and that should work for us. That was quite okay. Yeah, I think that was different to the other level 5s. So I'm not laying out much hope that we're going to get advantages in all the level 5s, but. I am pleasantly surprised at these games that we just had.